Welcome to the UNV Certification Program. The topic of this video is LED Fundamentals. This course will enable you to have a good command of LED definition and structure, understand some LED general parameters, and know LED different package types. Finally, we will take a look some LED applications. Now let's get started. First of all, let's see LED definition and structure. Nowadays, LED is widely used in different scenarios. You can find it in many places. For example, shopping mall, railway station, airport, arena, etc. So, what is LED? LED stands for Light Emitting Diode, which is a semiconductor light source that emits light when electric current flows through it. Based on the controller circuit, LED can directly emit light. About color display principle, full color display is achieved by superimposing RGB, which is short for red, green, and blue. They are the three primary colors that can be superimposed in numerous ways to produce a wide range of colors. With the continuous development of lighting technology, the lamps of the traditional lighting market are being replaced by incandescent lamps with LED, which is playing an increasingly important role in our daily lives. So, what are the advantages of LED display? The first one is excellent display effect. LED display has high brightness and good color reproduction ability, which can be used for decoration and lighting purposes. It can play various videos and display images and texts clearly. The second one is a wide range of applications. LED display has the advantages of waterproof, sunproof, and moisture proof so it has stronger environmental adaptability and can be installed outdoors, which is an advantage that other electronic displays don't have. What's more, long life. The normal life of LED display is 80,000 to 100,000 hours, and it supports 24-hour working mode. Finally, seamless LED display can be seamlessly spliced, the display area can be extended based on your needs, and the flatness is good, especially suitable for full-screen display. Now let's move on to cabinet composition. LED display cabinet is mainly composed of lamps, PCB board, driver IC, receiving card, power supply, cabinet rear board, and so on. Each module mainly consists of constant LED lamps, PCB board, and driver IC. And receiving card is used to receiving and convert the data from the sending card then output the image to the LED display. It is a very important part of the LED control system, which achieves point-to-point -point display. The next one is power supply. Since LED is a non-linear device, so even a small change of the forward voltage will cause a large change in the forward current. So it is necessary to avoid driving current beyond the maximum rated value, which will affect its reliability. To ensure the display effect, the LED current needs to be constant. Besides, structural components are used for assembling various components while ensuring the flatness of the module and the heat dissipation of the product. For example, here we can see the structure of LED screen. The rear board is formed by different cabinets. A cabinet is composed of different parts we just mentioned such as module, and there are many LED lamps in one module. At present, LED displays are mainly used in data visualization, commercial display, outdoor advertising, rental staging, and conference scenarios. Compared with traditional LED display, fine pixel LED display brings the industry to a higher resolution application market. In addition, as the price of small pitch LED display decreases in the future, the application field will expand to the media, advertising, cinema, and other commercial applications. Now we are going to talk about some LED general parameters. The first one is pixel pitch, which is the distance from the center of one pixel to the center of an adjacent pixel, measured in millimeter. Pixel pitch reflects the space between two pixels, a smaller pixel pitch means less space between pixels, which stands for a higher pixel density and higher screen resolution, and will bring a better visual effects. However, it does not mean that a smaller pixel pitch is appropriate to all application scenarios. For example, when viewing from a distance, 
pixel pitch has a negligible impact on visual effect. However, screens with higher pixel density means a higher cost, therefore is not cost efficient. Then let's move on to resolution part. Resolution is the number of pixels contained on a display monitor, expressed in terms of the number of pixels on the horizontal axis and the number of pixels on the vertical axis. Screen resolution is a measurement of how many pixels your screen can display. The higher the resolution, the more the details can be displayed, and also the more expensive the device is. The aspect ratio is the ratio between the width and height of the screen. The next is brightness. Brightness is the intensity of light coming from a screen that can be perceived. Brightness is proportional to the number of lamps per unit area and the brightness of LED chips. When dot density is fixed, brightness of the LED display depends on the material, packaging and size of the LED chip used. The larger the LED chip, the higher the brightness, and vice versa. Here we can see some brightness ranges of three common scenarios. Outdoor in the sun, outdoor in the shade, and indoor display. Now let's have a look at refresh rate. The higher the refresh rate, the lower the flicker of the screen and the higher the image clarity. LED driver chip directly determines the performance of the LED screen in visual refresh frequency. Then flatness, which is mainly determined in the production process. Poor flatness will lead to color unevenness. The local bump or concave will cause a dead angle in the viewing angle of the display. For pixel loss rate, it refers to the proportion of the pixels that are out of control, such as single pixel missing, darking, or twinkling, for a static screen. We often hear it as a quality standard in the LED industry, and often measured by PPM, points per million, rate. And fine pixel pitch LED display and regular LED display are all get certain pixel loss rate. Basically, when LED is out of factory, the number of faults in a million beads is less than 30, including all types of bead faults, the phenomenon is normal. And more lamps beads deadlights are inevitable while installing and using. Then we are going to talk about LED package technology. But first of all, we need to figure out why LEDs should be packaged. Through packaging, outer leads can be linked to the electrode of LED chip to protect the chip and improve its luminous efficiency. Package allows the diode chip to operate normally and emit visible light. Aim of LED package technology are to improve light output efficiency, light color performance, and device reliability. Firstly, improve light output efficiency. The light output efficiency of LED package can generally reach 80 to 90 percent. Secondly, high light color performance. Common light color parameters of LED package are height, glare, color temperature, color rendering, color tolerance, flickering, etc. Multiple dominant colors should be used to achieve the package so as to improve the distribution of LED luminescence spectrum. Finally, device reliability which includes the performance changes of LED devices under various conditions and various failure modes and mechanisms. Now we are going to talk about four main package types, DIP, SMD, IMD and COB. Let's get more detailed info about DIP, which is the abbreviation of dual inline package, commonly known as plug-in type. They look like a traditional light with the chip encased in hard plastic generally used with two straight parallel connecting pins. In fact, it is one of the old designs of LED, but it is also one of the most durable and stable solutions for outdoor LED display. On the one hand, the size of dip LED lamp is big. It allows the LED screen to present higher brightness. What's more, it's very reliable since it is created with two pins that are welded directly on the circuit, this kind of combination on the module plate is the most corrosion resistant. On the other hand, compared with other package types, the resolution is lower per unit area, and the large size of dip LED lamp determined it is difficult to have a pixel pitch smaller than 10 millimeters. With the demand for higher visual effects of LED displays, the pixel pitch was getting smaller and smaller. 
However, the pixel pitch of DIP has a physical limit and cannot meet some higher demand. Then a new package of surface mount device appeared, which uses surface mount technology for attaching electronic components directly to the surfaces of printed circuit boards and assembling an LED display. When it comes to its characteristics, it has high resolution, SMD LED module is more suitable for indoor LED display with small pixel pitch. Moreover, SMD is currently the most popular packages, so a very robust supply system has been formed in the industry. The standardization, serialization and consistency of welding conditions of chip components make SMT highly automatic, which has large-scale production capacity. What's more, when mounted on the PCBs, the lead wires of the components don't need to be bent, shaped or cut short, so that the whole process is shortened and the production efficiency is improved, which can generally reduce the total production cost. On the other hand, it has a lower level of protection and poor performance in terms of moisture, water, dust, shock and impact resistance. In addition, it is easy to drop the light in the process of transportation. Besides, the lamp has a short lifespan, and its performance is easily affected by the environment. The next is IMD, which is the Matrix Integrated Package Scheme of Integrated Matrix Devices. It's an upgrade from SMD. It is to package two, four, six, or more groups of RGB diodes in a small unit, also known as N in one. A typical IMD model is produced in the form of two by two, or 4-in-1. Each 4-in-1 package includes four SMDs. Each SMD includes the three chips, a red, green, and blue one. Compared with traditional SMD, IMD has better anti-collision performance and higher SMT efficiency. Besides, it features higher contrast, higher integration, easier maintenance, and lower cost, which makes it an excellent product for finer pitches. Moreover, as the pixel pitch continues to narrow, IMD will face the same problem as SMD. There will be limited room for the growth of IMD products. What's more, the uniformity and consistency of RGB chips in each package may not be as high as that of RGB chips in LED displays made of individual SMDs. Now let's dive into more detailed info about COB. Chip on board is a method of circuit board manufacturing in which the integrated circuits are bonded directly to a printed circuit board and covered by epoxy. In other words, the light emitting chip is directly packaged on the PCB without complicated surface mount technology and assembled at LED display. To the advantages and disadvantages, on the one hand, it has some excellent characteristics. With triple protection mechanism, excellent waterproof, moisture proof, corrosion proof, dust proof, anti static, anti oxidation, and anti ultraviolet can be achieved to meet all weather working conditions. Secondly, the surface is smooth and hard, therefore, with the characteristics of impact resistant and wear resistant. COB products directly package the LED chip in the concave lamp position of the PCB board and then package and solidify it with epoxy resin. Its characteristics of ultralight and ultrathin can significantly reduce transportation and engineering costs. What's more, it has large viewing angle and better optical diffuse color effect. Finally, it has strong heat dissipation ability, COB products package the lamp on the PCB and quickly transmit the heat of the wick through the copper foil on the PCB. Moreover, there are few deadlights, which greatly extends the lifespan of the LED display. On the other hand, the uniformity of color rendering is far inferior to SMD display. Moreover, the manufacturing cost is high. If there is a problem with a single light source, the whole module needs to be removed for replacement. Most of the display devices are suitable for SMD technology. There is equipment replacement cost for COB since the industry chain is not fully mature. We have already introduced some common package types. Now we are going to do a comparison among SMD, IMD, COB technologies. First of all, about package method, SMD attaches single electronic component directly to PCB board. 
IMD packages two, four or more groups in a small unit and attaches to PCB board. Then about COB, the light emitting chip is directly packaged on the PCB without complicated surface mount technology. In terms of technology, SMD package has been highly mature and widely recognized by the market. With complete production equipment and supply chain, it has been used on a large scale in indoor and outdoor applications. The IMD package is still using the surface mount technology which can reuse part of the SMD production line. But the supply chain of COB is an emerging industry chain. We have to recognize that two key elements of new technology, performance and cost, determine the industrialization of new technologies to a large extent. For pixel pitch, it is more difficult for SMD to achieve a pixel pitch of less than one millimeter. IMD has the same problem as SMD, that is, the pixel pitch cannot be reduced indefinitely. It is more difficult to achieve a pixel pitch of less than 0.7 mm. But for COB, the light emitting chip is directly bonded to the PCB with high precision, which can further reduce the pixel pitch. Regarding reliability, SMD has a low protection level. Compared with traditional SMD devices, IMD has better anti-knock performance and higher stability. But COB's chip and welding pin are wrapped by sealant, which has better airtightness to withstand further thrust. Besides, the surface is smooth without seams, and it is not easy to attach harmful substances, so it's more reliable. As for the display effect, when you view the screen at close distance, you will find that there is distinct graininess on the SMD and IMD screen. But COB is integrated package with more uniform luminescence, it's like a surface light source, so the display effect is better and is more comfortable to see. Finally, let's see LED display applications. According to different application fields, LED display can fit a variety of installation methods, including fixed installation, rental hoisting, and stadium fence installation. Besides, according to the user's use environment, installation methods, including wall-mounted, rental lifting type, arc form and other installation methods. After this course, you must have a good command of LED definition and structure, understand some LED general parameters and know LED different package types. That's all for LED fundamentals. Thanks for watching. See you next time.